He's got new spark plugs. I didn't go over the gapping procedure. I've been dying to do that. They say on your iridium plugs to not gap them. And this is where I steered him slightly wrong. On the Generation 8 2000 and later engine, they recommend iridium plugs. Iridium plugs, and they say Denzel's what's original on the engine. But I thought, you know what? I remember putting in Platinums forever, because that just was my habit from being old school. Until one day, I saw on the side of my engine that it said Iridium. And I'm sorry I have too much light. You may not be able to see it. But they suggest twin ground electrode plugs. That's what came with it. I was like, oh my gosh, twin ground? I hate those. Well, I know this engine will respond fine to these, but I'm very surprised to see this sticker that it's supposed to be uh, do double plong where it comes at it on from the size like a Bosch 2 instead of the standard plug that everyone knows and loves but just to take you through the concept briefly all these parts we've installed today I can't believe it just while he bought the rest of it I put in the radiator I feel pretty I feel really good about that I just had a couple of bolts left but what I do is I measure the four spark plugs, the ohms of resistance across its core. One, two, two three, four. Welcome to the D.E. Nichols channel. Autobottle.com. So measure across the core. And what I mean by that is measuring from here to the tippy tip of that electrode. And that way, you don't put in a bad one, because you can read the ohms of resistance, one, two, three, four. And I know from my fuel injector experience when I had two injectors that were slow, that if you put your, your higher flow injectors together, I know I'm talking spark plugs, I'm sw switching subjects, but I'm proving a point. Okay, so follow with me. If you put two slightly faster flowing injectors and two slightly floor, uh, slower injectors, the engine can smooth it out. The PCM can handle that. But if you go fast, slow, fast, slow, it will make the engine run funny. Now, the numbers are the opposite. The higher the resistance, the longer it is for sparks, so it's actually slow, fast, slow, fast. And when I read these on the old ones, I moved number three up to number two, and I checked the gap, and they're all 42 thousandths. They're supposed to be 44 thousandths, but I don't know. I tend to like my stuff gapped a little bit tighter. It's probably wrong. I don't know. I feel more power when I do it. Maybe it makes it run slightly richer. Because it, it does a slightly less hot spark. But... Um, Sometimes I run them at 44. If I see high resistances, like 5 and 6, that's a good reason to do 42. He, he wasn't comfortable with it because everyone always says don't gap him in. And I, I decided to just leave it. And it's probably fine. Because, I mean, like I said, I've run 42 gap a lot of times. Like, if I listen to each cylinder after I'm done with the spark plug change, and I hear one sounding a little slow, to get that spark to go off a little faster to make it sound bright instead of dull, I will take a 44 down to a 42. If in his case there was a couple that were slow, I would take the fast ones and I'd take them up to 44, because I'm not going down to 40 thousandths of an inch. I think that's just insane. If you get these too close, they will suck together, and they will not have any gap at all. I've seen that happen, especially on, on cheap Platinums. When we decided to test his uh, change of spark plugs, he asked me if the wires were good. And I went ahead and checked the ohms of resistance on each of these. And as they went longer, they went from 70,000 to 100,000 ohms of resistance. And that's pretty good. Um, if you want to really get technical and really make this engine sing perfectly, which may not be necessary because iridiums are kind of the stabilizer I found. You tend to not be able to go wrong. Back with, in the day of platinums, I adjusted gap all the time. But what you could do 
with the fact that this is 70,000 ohms, is that one you would be run 42 thousandths and 42 and a half. Or 42 and a half ten thousandths. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's ridiculous. 0 0.0442 or 5. Anyways, go up a half a half a thousandths of an inch from 42, 43, and maybe 44. Something like that. Um, basically, if I actually wrote down the ohms of resistance on each of these wires, I would adjust gap about a thousand of an inch of an inch for an ohm resistance change of say 10,000 and that would get the engine perfectly smooth. Now that's a technique we could do but that's a lot of specificness. I have found after a few days of driving that you always end up losing your spark plug gap. On iridiums it's much more stable, it goes a little better but that gap tends to change because the heating and cooling of the engine actually forges that metal and becomes more brittle, more stiff. Come back three days later, check your gap, and that's when you do those crazy adjustments that I talked about if you like perfection. And if I hear the slightest little sound difference when I listen from one cylinder to the next, I take care of that. Um, there's one other trick to smoothing out your engine that I love. The reason why my car has all these grounding wires all over the place surrounding the engine is where I ever I heard it run duller I threw down more amps that's right I said amps I mean the voltage is probably going to be really close to the same but when you put on down a grounding wire where the engine's running a little slower you can hear it sound duller it brightens it up and then I never took them away. Every time I, I heard it dull, I go went with more. I eventually switched from 10 gauge to 8 gauge, and the whole time my car just got faster and faster. Ooh yeah. Because the more amps, the hotter the burn. Uh, the other theory you could go with is maybe it's lowering the resistance, but ground is supposed to be basically resistance free. It's all about how many electrons you can flow, and that's about amperage, baby. <laughs> All right, get out there and work on something.